Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 25 in the series. I just want to say thank you so much if you made it all the way through. This is going to be the last video. What we're going to be doing here is decommissioning the servers. We're going to be unjoining all the servers from our domain and just deleting everything. Just starting from scratch. And whatever the next journey is, the next journey is. Maybe exchange, maybe something else, but I haven't gotten that far yet. This is the last video. And I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for supporting the channel, you know, viewing all these videos in this playlist. Uh, I enjoyed it and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you're new to the channel, like I always say, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. And this is video 25 and this is the last one. So until next time, guys, hopefully you enjoy it. And let's jump into the video. Let's jump on the desktop and get started. Thank you. All right, guys, here we are on the desktop. So this is the last video in this series. I'm super sad to say that. So in this video, we're going to be doing, you know, decommissioning the servers. You know, we can do put in a new ticket. We can unjoin the computers to the domain or from the domain and unjoin the computers, the clients. And then we're just going to go ahead and test them, make sure they're gone, delete them out of AD. And we can, you know, log in locally to test and make sure everything is good to go. And yeah, so in the last thing, you know, thank you so much for watching all the videos. And these are, you know, it's been a pleasure to make them. I just enjoy doing the Windows stuff. Sometimes I do miss it, to be honest. So I'm like, okay, let me just put out videos. That's what I did with the 2020, 2019 uh, playlist as well. So what I did already, I... Uh, the, the, the Spiceworks server actually got corrupted, I think. So I don't have the ticketing server anymore. So just pretend we put a ticket in. We put a ticket in saying we, we're deleting all the servers, we're decommissioning, and so on and so forth. So we do have our DC. So in here, we have our DC. We're going to open up Active Directory. And we're going to you know, go into servers. And then we can, right now, we are going to, let's see, sir. Here's, where is this server? Let me, let's just go check what we, what I booted up. I booted up the file server. Let me see if this is actually on the domain. I'm not even sure. I don't remember which ones are which to be quite frank. Put keyboard, control, delete. All right, yeah, so this is, All right, so let me log in. Okay. I'm going to log into this machine and on here, you know, we all connected to the domain. So what we'll do is unjoin it from the domain and uh, go from there. So let's wait till this server manager boots up. Things have been running a little slower for me today, and yesterday, actually. So we have the file server. We have it as win 22 uh, FS01, which is file server one. We have it on infosecpack.com. Let me go back to the DC because I just want to see where this server is. Yeah. yeah, okay, so it was a part of, because I think we were doing the WSUS updates and testing with that. Cool, so now we have it, it's good to go, right? We can double click on this. It shows everything, the DNS name, operating system 2022, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go back. And we're going to go ahead and click on domain and change. So it's on our InfoSec pad domain and whatever domain you have it on. The way to take it off or unjoin a computer from a domain or a server, just go to work group and just put, I want to put thank you. Thank you is going to be my work group. I hit OK. Yeah, that's fine. Hit OK here. And once we have all that done, it's going to say needs a reboot and it's, you know, Welcome to the thank you work group. Thank you. And then let's restart. Now, once we go back to our DC, we should have a little down arrow. We refresh this. We'll give it a moment. And now it has a little down arrow. So it's pretty much saying it's not really there. So now in Active Directory, what we can do is right click on here and delete. Okay. So we can delete that. We can delete this OU too. No longer need that. 
And if you do get this error, this is good that we got this error because in AD, you, you know, we, we don't want you to accidentally delete in, in OU. So what you can do is go to actions, file, view, view, advanced options. And then let's go to see if we can delete now properties. And then object. I haven't done this in a minute. And then we just protect object from an accidental deletion, hit apply. Okay. Now we should be able to whack it. Okay. Perfect. Boom. Now I'm just going to go back to, you know, not advanced feature. I don't need all those fancy things. Okay. Let's go see our file server. Let's go ahead and log into it. Now it doesn't have any domain. Let's log in so locally. Okay. Once we log in locally, we should be good. We're going to make sure we're on the thank you work group. And then once we're on the thank you work group, we're going to go ahead and shut this down and then just delete it. Pretty much what we're doing in this video is decommissioning the infrastructure, right? So I don't, I don't need it any longer. I'm done with this series. So we're good to go. So thank you work group. We're good. Thank you. Awesome. Let me shut this down. I'm going to go ahead and shut this server down. And once this is shut down, we can go to our hypervisor, which is VirtualBox. Let's go open up VirtualBox and take the FS server, file server, and just delete it. Remove. Remove all and delete files. This is perfectly fine for me. Okay. So now let's do a, let's do Windows 10. Go ahead and boot this bad boy up. Okay, while that's booting up, go back to uh, Active Directory. So we go to IT Computer. I think Windows 10 is under here. Yep, so it's under here. So same thing. We have Windows 10 here. We're going to go ahead and unjoin this from the domain and, uh, and delete that. And then I'll pretty much wrap it up. So we did a server. We did a client. We don't have to do the whole thing. I'll do that in the background. And uh, I might just delete everything. Just right-click. I guess we could do that all together. We'll get rid of the whole infrastructure together. How about that? So you can see I'm not doing any uh, funky business. Let's go do a new user. I want to log in as Pat. The reason why I want to log in as Pat is because he has rights to unjoin a computer from a domain, even though we can run it as administrator. This, I want to view it full screen. Okay, so. All right, let's go ahead and right click, go to system. Whoops, not event manager. Let's go to system. All right, let's give that a system. All right, so in here we have Win 10. Okay, we can rename and all that. But let's go to system information. We can see that as part of the win, uh, infosecpat.com domain. Let's go ahead and go to change settings, change. Same thing, I'm just going to put. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. We'll give this a moment and then we'll have to reboot and all that good stuff and we'll go back into Active Directory. Okay, restart now. And then we'll go back into AD. Refresh this. And we have a down arrow. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and delete this. And this is how you would go in when you decommission a server, decommission a workstation, and so on and so forth. So once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and just shut it down. I'm just going to hard shut it down because I guess I can just shut it down here. Okay. So with that, now we're good there. So now let's go ahead and Take this out, remove, remove, delete all files. I want to do the same exact thing because I don't really care about the other ones at the moment. We already did all this, so I'm just going to whack them. Delete, remove, delete, remove, delete, remove, delete, and then DC, move, delete. Okay. So now let's go ahead and just 
we can like go into here, go to remove Active Directory using computers, decommission it, but I'm not gonna go through all that pain. I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it down. Shut it down. And then once that's shut down, it'll go away. And then we say our goodbyes. Goodbye. Thank you so much for everything you did for me, this DC. And this Kali Linux is good. So pretty much, let's go back to here. Pretty much we did these steps. We, because I had my, my Spiceworks server um, crash and the other day, and I don't know what happened to the files. I know what happened to them, but they got corrupted. So I lost that server the other night. But um, yeah, you know, make pretend that you put a ticket in and you know how to put a ticket in. So yeah, then we tested, we, we, we tested and checked the AD to make sure they're gone. The way we did it is we hit the down, the down arrow was, a, was on top of the machine. We right click, remove it. And then we log into the domain and we can check if it's on the thank you work group. Yeah, and then we removed all the servers and clients, right? We just right clicked and deleted them. So at this point, we're all done with this series. This is the last video. I really want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos, from supporting my journeys. Everything, all my little internet friends and people that watch my videos, I really, really appreciate you guys so much. So until the next playlist, until the next video, take good care and uh, have a good one. Thank you so much for viewing.